Howdy fellas, what's going on? Today we're back, uh, finally at long last, and we're gonna get started actually doing stuff, because we're in a plane's biome. I guess we're gonna go ahead and set up here. And, uh, actually something interesting about beds. So basically when you set your spawn point, um, you know, all that you need to do is wait for the animation to finish. So if there's, p if you're on a server with people, then all you have to do is sit there and wait for 10 minutes for your, like, you know, the night to pass. Or get in the bed right as the night is ending. Then you'll end up setting your spawn point in this version. And, uh, completely wrong to say that you set your spawn point by sleeping in the bed for, like, two seconds. You gotta wait for the full animation to go, and it will set your spawn point. So, like, it doesn't matter if other people sleep in the bed or not. It, that just makes it really fast, and is honestly probably um, more polite to do that rather than to just uh, <laughs> force somebody to sleep for the for ten minutes straight. Oh, all right. Let's go ahead and upgrade our actual furnace first and foremost. I think that is the first thing I want to do. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll smell up eight of them. And we don't even need sheep to craft ourselves a bed. The glory of HBM mod. It's technically vanilla Minecraft, you just need spiders, but... Here we go, that's the bed. Boom. The most important machine in the mod. No, I'm joking. It's not actually a machine, it's just it's vanilla too. It's such a stupid joke. So yeah, all this hemp will come in handy for making string and stuff later on, but uh, right now we don't really need all of this, so we're just gonna put it in the chest. And with it, we'll put all of our cobblestone, but make it look nice, so. Boom. Perfect. We won't put a roof on this building because we don't want creepers spawning. And if you don't want any mobs spawning, don't put a roof on it. Right? <laughs> it's so stupid. Not putting a roof on it. Eh, could be worse. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, my iron's done. Oh, do I get a lodestone? Lodestone? You should probably single each one for a lodestone if you want one. I don't know how we got two, like, right at the start, though. That's ridiculous. And I've heard that they're for just, um... You know, if you actually, if you want a lodestone, then you just smell iron ore, and it will give you a lodestone. Seven, eight. Boom. Smell that up next. So what we're making today is the iron furnace. It is the most important furnace in HBM mod. It, it's actually pretty good when you get started, because you can just shove one down. It takes up this 4x4 four four space next to our bed. Fills the entire room with smog. Perfect. And is amazing. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to make one of them. So, here is stone bricks. Boom! Oh, you all know how to craft them already. I'm I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have wasted my time making the, oh, Here's what we gotta do. We gotta make stone bricks. Put this in here. Put this on this. Boom! Look at this thing. It's an iron furnace. What? What in the what in the heck is this thing do? Oh, shove shove in some coal and it fills the buffer. Perfect. What else can it do? Well it can do a lot of things, but first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and get started smelting up some more iron. Now, here's the thing about the fist that's amazing. We need seven iron ore. We need nine plus uh six. So one, two, three. So we need about 12 pieces. That's a lot of iron ore. But to get started, it's a, it's a bit of a process, isn't it? Not really, I mean, it's pretty simple. But we gotta wait for that to go through. It's doing its stuff. Iron ingot. Uh, while that's happening, let's go ahead and chop a tree down so I can make the base look a little better. So, here is a tree. Now, let me show you all how to chop down a tree. And that guy. Worst offender. He's on the most wanted list right here. For plinking arrows at me. 
Oh, he stopped that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die again. Li literally gonna die again. Yep, no, oh, wait, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, that might not be good, that might not be good. That is not good. <laughs> so bad. Oh, you, prof, get out of here. There's two. Are you kidding me? You just blow up my new furnace? Well, I guess it deals with the problem, but I mean, problem solved in a way that is not exactly productive at all, and is actually really annoying. You're not allowed in here. Get out of here. Bro. Oh. He's, he's not so good. Cheeky fellas, sneaking around our base. Oh. You know, I don't even think this is going to be our final base. I think I got other ideas for that now. I just had a brainwave. I think I know what I'm doing for the final base. Well, for one of the bases. Or for the style of the base, actually. Uh, yeah. Uh, gotta make a new furnace. Stupid fellas. Ruining, ruining my furnaces. And this, you know what's great? I have to make another one. And I just made the iron I needed for the thing I wanted to make next. What? This is so stupid. Now I need five more pieces of iron, I think. Coming to my base and blowing everything up. Ugh. Stupid fellas. Maybe we should just, uh, not, not do that again. Please. I think we might even be able to make it with this, honestly. No. Wait. Maybe? I don't remember how to make an anvil. What the heck? Is it like this? Yeah, it is like this. Okay, I was correct. So it doesn't need it doesn't even need the three blocks. You all probably were thinking I was gonna make a vanilla anvil, but um sorry guys, vanilla anvil sucks. Kind of a skill issue with making a vanilla anvil, thinking it's one of these HBM anvils. Oop. Come on, finish up. And as you can see, I, I, as I was saying, this is a really great furnace. You can put an upgrade in here, but look at this. It it holds. It's burning. So it's not burning the coal anymore. It's it's saving it for later when you need it the most. Absolutely the best furnace ever to exist in any mod that uses coal. Anyway, we gotta make fire break, stone break, brick break, copper plates. Burn our press guys. One of these. Oh, we make them so often. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's the same as the other one, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen for this. Why sixteen? Piston. That's an extra iron, by the way. So that is how that is sixteen. And tell that somebody tell that bugger to get out of here. Bro is causing some issues. Performance issues. Uh The thing is that you can make fireworks in this version of Minsraft, but fireworks are actually useless. They are like absolutely useless. There's no reason you'd make fireworks in this version. Unless you actually just wanted them for funsies, but don't know why you'd be doing that. And uh now I can sling some arrows at that fella. Think you ready to get... He's about to get evaporated. He's about to get... Zapped. I need a better weapon. <laughs> this is not good enough. Everybody tells me I'm so not organized, but look, I got my cobblestone, I got my skeleton skulls, got my clay, slime ball, hemp, ores are over here. This is actually the most organized... Oh wait, hold on, let's switch this up. Let's put these, this garbage in the miscellaneous section. Oh my gosh. Super organized. Look at this. Miscellaneous garbage. Perfect. Perfect. You know, I'll put that there and then put this here because it's green. So, like, similar. Perfect. All the green steps in a row. All the... What if we organize things by color? <laughs> That'd be so ridiculous. Anything primarily green goes in this box. But wait a second. Circuits and uh, emeralds don't really have the same function now, do they? 
This is why in the first episode I said we need a redstone. Where the heck is, oh, is there? Okay, my my goodness. I thought the redstone had just evaporated at some point and we we lost it, but thank goodness. Hallelujah. Kazuntai. Okay, we we got the piston. It's it's intact. And then we just need some cobblestone. And we also need to smelt some cobblestone. One, two, three, four. I declare fun more. Actually, no. Hey, give me all that garbage. We're gonna make a furnace here. Oh my gosh, this is this is this is how it's gonna happen. We're putting the pieces in the puzzle together, making the burner press. And how do you make this? Okay, that's a little expensive, so we'll wait on that one. But that is actually pretty useful if you're trying to speed up the burner press. I've heard so. Alrighty, fellas, we're on our way to steal. First things first. How do you get the stuff to make the blast furnace? That's what you're probably asking. And uh, that's how you get started. You turn all your aluminium into fire clay. Clay of the future. Perfect. And then, then we need to make some copper. And copper is pretty easy, too. We need about four pieces of copper, in fact. So, now that's basically everything. We got our... Blast furnace. And then we have the topper on it, but that's that can wait. Because you need steel for that, actually. So we, we're going to need four of these. Which we're about to have four. And then we'll switch it out for this. Boom. And soon enough, we're going to be making steel. Which I'm excited for. But uh, not gonna be perfect steel until we get flux which I guess this is actually flux is actually useful now how do you get flux actually because you can make flux I'm pretty sure you need charcoal and uh, you can do a lead and sulfur oh, but it's powders anyway I can't do that yet you can make it with the charcoal which is obviously the best way for now fluorite I like that one that's actually pretty good Charcoal and fluorite are like the two options you get at the start of the game. So we need this press for this. And for the template, we can do a titanium template. And this is why you save some clay for bricks. <laughs> you need bricks for this as well. You need some bricks. And then after that, you need some sugar cane. Because you can't get sawdust this early on. So might as well go for that sugar cane. Here's some beautiful world generation at its finest. So in the next episode, I think we'll have the assembly machine. I want to finish this episode off when we get the actual uh, blast furnace itself. And uh, then we'll, next episode, we'll get to the steel production. So I can show you all how to do steel. It is not too hard. I think the thing is about these videos, about um, when I do them, is that uh, not only can you learn how to play the mod from them, but... Um, I don't know. They're just enjoyable, I guess. I don't know. Some people have told me they enjoyed watching these, so I guess I, I, guess I could believe that. Okay. We need to make our paper. And uh, in the 112 version of HBM mod, you used to need to use this stuff. We're not in the 112 version, though. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because for old time's sake, one last time. Why not? And uh, what else are we doing? Oh, come on. Give me the thing. Earlier. Oh. Paper. Says what we need next. So we got our bone meal. Oh, wait, we don't need paper. What am I doing? Brain. Function. So you put this plus tungsten together. You get a flat stamp. Then you you can only sleep at night. But then you take the flat st Whoa. Circus stamp. The heck, these are like waffles now. Also, obsidian stamp looks a little weird now. But uh, I think that actually looks. I don't know. I like the obsidian stamp. I think I liked it before better, but like I like it now. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice change actually. I think this could, I could get used to this. This is actually a nice change. I don't know. But I don't know about the waffle stamp. Waffle stamp is makes sense. Makes waffle stamp makes sense, but. Feels weird seeing the waffle stamp instead of it seeing like five waffle stamps in a row. It's kind of kind of weird. 
So the burner press, you put coal in it. It's got this little meter in here. This tells you how fast it's going to go. And uh, when it starts off, it's absolute garbage. But once it gets going, it goes thump, 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 and it's like a machine gun. And you'll never see it doing that unless you run it for a specific type of plant, like um, coal plant or uh, graphite or anything that you got to do a large quantity of. You'll never see it. You'll just get it fast. It's time for the final thing of today, the blast furnace. Boom. There you go. That's steel. 